Ed at American Science and Surplus, they are fascinated with an electric range of products, eclectic. Some of them have a science or educational tilt to them. Others are just handy or amusing. So we sent our Jackie Costick out for a day to play. Hey, we are out here at American Science and Surplus in Geneva, and we decided to come outside for a little science experiment of our own, because if you go inside American Science and Surplus, you know the kind of magic that is inside the store that you can bring out, you can take home, you can have some fun. I'm here with uh, Miko Luttrell, who's the store manager here. So good morning to you. Good morning. Okay, first, for people who have maybe not seen the inside of the store this morning, just describe it to me if you can, because I, which is nearly impossible. We recommend people take between an hour and hour and a half to see everything. <laughs> yes. And we have everything from housewares to motors to telescopes, microscopes, whoopee cushions, yeah. you name it. I love how the whoopee cushion always, <laughs> always makes it into to. the description <laughs> because it's like of the, the random things, some some random, some not so random, uh, it's always got to have, have the whoopee cushion. You have toys, puzzles, uh, arts and crafts, Robotic kits, motors. Yes, yeah. yes. Old Army Surplus, obviously, which is in the name. And everything to do with science. And you actually said that uh, you started, uh, you came here as a kid, right? I did. Yes, yeah, I love 80s, that. Yeah. What did you love about it back then? Uh, just the creativity that comes out yeah. of the store. You know? yeah. There's just so many different things to learn and do and, you know, experiment with. Yeah, and you guys also have some big science nights. You have them three times a year. The next one is coming up June, June 21st. 21st. Okay, talk about what you guys typically do for those. Oh my gosh, it's my favorite day of the year. Ah, we yes. We have science experiments and demonstrations all over the store. This is a summertime one, so we're going to be able to come outside and do some of the messier, maybe more fiery ones. Absolutely. Maybe more fiery. There's a tease. <laughs> Miko knows TV. Okay, I'm going to put on my safety goggles right now. No, um, safety we first. have not done this yet. And speaking of safety, we've got two uh, fire safety, I won't say officials, but they're <laughs> They're ready to jump in if we need to. We've got a small blowtorch, a tube, and some uh, stuff in the middle. We're not going to tell you that's a secret ingredient. Uh, should we give this a whirl? Yeah, let's do it. see if we can make fire. I did not sign a waiver. Sorry, you guys. Okay, ready? So I'm going to put my hand over my. Got ready? It? Yep. On the count of three. Okay, one, one two, two, three. <laughs> It's magic. That was something like I've never seen before. This will get kids if <laughs> we even got Mario laughing. Uh, Miko, this is why you come to make to have your mind blown. <laughs> That was actually really fun, um, but truly something for everyone here. They've also got other locations in Park Ridge and up in Milwaukee, mm -hmm. a superstore. 6,000 square feet inside American Science and Surplus. So much fun. Back to you. Great job. <laughs> Dang it. Jackie, love her having fun. And Jackie uh, may have botched that one, but she wanted to make sure we showed you the good attempt. So here she is in all her fire-breathing glory.